So I was uh, born in Malta, which is a small island in the Mediterranean. It's roughly halfway between uh, southern um, Europe and North Africa. And I did all my schooling there and uh, moved to Canada just before uh, college. Then I did medical school in Canada and I did uh, a residency training in uh, primary care, family medicine and emergency medicine. And I did that in uh, the north of Canada in a place uh, called Thunder Bay, which is about uh, 14 hours north of Toronto and um, also worked in a number of the communities around there. When I finished that, I um, went to work in northern Canada in a town called Geraldton, which is about 18 hours north of Toronto. And I was one of three physicians there where we were primary care physicians looking after everything that came in through the door. We did um, clinic, we did emergency department, we um, as needed uh, moved people to higher level hospitals about three hours away. And that was a really a terrific experience. And while doing that, I really wanted to do some more global health work. I had done months of global health work here and there throughout my uh, medical school and residency training. And um, I signed up with uh, Doctors Without Borders. And I worked with them for, the whole experience was about a year on the ground. It was a little bit more than six months. And at the time I was in uh, Somalia, in um, Puntland uh, province, in the town of uh, Galkayo. And uh, this was soon after the uh, Somali war had uh, died down. And um, I was really the only physician in um, an area of about 350,000 people. It was, a, it was a really fascinating experience. I uh, learned tremendously and I'm deeply grateful to uh, the organization for the experience and uh, really to the people there. And, and something unexpected happened to me while I was in Somalia in that while I was being, I think, a useful physician and I was um, serving the population in need, I realized that at the end of the day, I became fundamentally interested in the drivers of health of the population. I became interested in why is it that this population had so much medical need? And I began looking around, trying to figure out what is it that shapes the health of populations. And that really began my path to public health. When I was in uh, Somalia, I um, really decided that I wanted to look into public health and um, figure out what a path in public health would look like. And from there, I essentially went back to school. I uh, did a master's in public health eventually a doctorate in public health, and from there I have been in various institutions doing um, academic public health. I was uh, at the New York Academy of Medicine, at Columbia University, at the University of Michigan, and most recently at Columbia University.